got these guys done. Happy with that. A little bit disappointed. Uh, their bubble problem is a bigger deal than I thought. Maybe someday I'll strip them and redo it. The outgassing, if it was just epoxy, wouldn't have hurt, but it was epoxy with fiberglass, so it's not possible to fully get down into it and uh, fill the little divots. But I think it's pretty, it's functional, so it makes in pretty good shape. Beautiful piece of wood. One of the things before I put this pencil back on with the angle I uh, found that uh, on Kim and Brian's boat the, there's a little bit of a moment to lift the rudder up off and so I've tried a couple of different thoughts on a retaining system. I think just a simple cotter pen I managed to get the hole in there. I think that'll work if I can find the right pen. So I wanted to do that before we actually fasten this back on. Well, there's a rudder system pretty much ready to use. Pretty happy with that. I think you'll be able to sit pretty far forward, reach the uh, halyard or, or whatever solo sailing with the extension and now it's on to the spars A little cold to glue them up, but I think that's what we're shooting for. So that should be four 16-foot pieces. Another winter storm. Preceding couple days have been below zero. But uh, I might try to do a little bit more. Bought some spar hardware. And could make the jaws for the boom and the gaff, maybe. Just kind of inch along here. I think the scarf joints for the mast managed to cure up, but uh, way too cold to try the next phase, which is gluing two pairs together. This is the pattern from uh, Brian and Kim's boat for the jaws for both the boom and the gaff.
hope this works out. This should be a bow winch post to go on the trailer, and this should be a square tube steel piece that I can use to mount that bow tube. We'll see. Pretty much what I was hoping it would be. The arms and the roller itself aren't in this package. Is actually fine. I hate those uh, rubber rollers for these wooden natural finish wooden boats. Any rubbing and bouncing, it's still just too hard. So I want to fabricate my own wooden uh, carpeted facing piece. Yeah, I think that's what I was hoping for. All right, so the idea I was hoping for is to fabricate this so that it goes in here and tees off against this bar, bolt that across there, and then have some kind of a way to fasten our U-bolt to that bow post. So I'm going to need to drill the end of this guy to receive this bolt and make some way to tee it off against the bar down there. If I were a welder, I would just cut it off, weld a, a flat bar across the end of it, and then bolt through that. I think I'm going to try to peel some of this back <laughs> and uh, see if that works. Can I heat that up, bend that flange out, that'll be enough to bolt through. What I want is to have this under tension, since this loop is not as big as I would have liked. I don't want it bashing back into the wood, whatever clips this two together. So I'd like to build something that has carpet, bolts through here and here, and can bring this stem into contact with the carpet and keep whatever it is that clips this together in tension. through that in here put some carpet on it okay. put some carpet on here really fold it up so uh, you can kind of compress it a bit snip these guys off and, uh... 
Uh, it's, it's at least good for the first couple of seasons, I think. We'll We'll see if this is going to be good enough. This foam lifts 60 pounds a cubic foot. Uh, we just put in that section, which is approximately four feet by three feet of foam. Being a little conservative, that means this number of cubic inches divided by 1728 per cubic foot equals two cubic feet. That's a little disappointing. I was hoping to get three cubic feet. That's just lifting 120 pounds. So, see what we can fit into the bow section forward of our one. I've got the boat sitting uh, approximately level. Just about the top end of that cut for the U-bolt. So we could tilt it up a slight angle. Certainly give enough of a protected space from spray to shove a sweatshirt or some, a gear bag tied up in there, maybe. Starting to look like I'm going to have to put some more foam underneath our tooth wart here. Alright, there's a top layer that I think will work. This bottom of the blue tape line is the bottom of the thwart. So I have a piece of half inch birch ply laying in there calculations half of the thing making a rectangle uh, we got another 108 pounds 328 that's uh, not too bad but I think I'd like some more so I think what we need to do is put also two blocks part way down underneath our two if we did 18 inches down on average 10 by 10 that gives us another Two cubic feet, another 120 pounds, 363 pounds of lift. 